now, if you would, let me introduce you to my world record leg trap. Hey, folks, do me a favor. Practice CPR, catch, photo, and release. The future of vision is truly in your hands. Big fish. Big fish! in the heart of breathtaking Alaska. Evenings will be shared reliving the battles of Monster Pike. The Midnight Sun Trophy Pike Hunt is on aboard the 67-foot luxury houseboat, and you're in command. If you're not, you should be. Contact the Midnight Sun Trophy Pike Adventures by calling 800-440-7453 or email them at mstpa50 at gmail.com. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the show. Hey, we've got something really exciting for you tonight, and uh, I think we're going to have fun with it. You know, I travel to sports shows a lot, and when I'm going around the sports shows, I have people ask me a few questions, and one of those questions is, where? Where do you fish? Well, I don't know too many people that want to give up where they fish, but in all honesty, where is a benefit because it builds confidence. If you're in a situation where you understand the climate, you understand the food source, the location, and all this, and how you can put it together, then wares are important. If you don't understand that, wares are absolutely the worst thing you can have because you run to somebody's spot because they told you to. Unless the conditions are exactly right, it means nothing. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to go into some of that. We're going to pinpoint some of these locations, and we're going to have a little bit of fun with it. Another thing we're going to do tonight is show you reality. <laughs> yeah, reality. I shot my show for over 30 years, totally authentic. Everything's real. Never did a bloopers reel because, quite frankly, tensions are a little high when you're doing it. You don't stage it. Don't go redo it. So that being said, I oftentimes avoided, if you will, the bloopers. However, it's not to say that we don't have mistakes. And tonight we're going to identify one of those mistakes. But before we get into the identifying that mistake, let me just tell you a little bit about this young man as we get to it because he was really a great trooper. You know, we put the call out last week for uh, for folks to send us some of their opening weekend pictures, some of the things that you did, the accomplishments you made. We've got an awful lot of people out there watching this show already, and if we get lucky and we get people to share it on their groups and on their pages and the followers pick up and what have you, then we'll grow largely quickly, and that's what we're trying to do. So that being said, I'm going to introduce you to a little bit of uh, what that's all about before we do. Let me tell you this, though. You can get on the show and you can re relate to the show a number of different ways. One of the ways to interact with us on the show is to find us on Facebook at Fish and Sticks TV. You can private message us on Facebook's Fish and, St Fish and Sticks TV page. You can also send us emails to bob.m at fishingstickstv.com. We'll handle those accordingly. If you're pre-registered, you'll also be able to dial in the phone. I have the phones on hold right now, so if you're lined up and get on, uh, we'll be taking your phone calls tonight, and that's what it's all about. Like I said, we had a number of people respond to the call out for pictures. Here's just one picture. This is Mark Boombach. Now, Mark was out waiting. He was fishing opening weekend for smallies, I believe, and ended up with this absolutely superb 30-inch trout. I don't know how many of us out there wouldn't appreciate that, especially the way to start your season. Mark's done a really good job. He estimated the fish about 10 pounds, and I'm going to have to say he's probably pretty accurate. 
Another friend of mine um, that's been around me for a long time, Bob Jacobs up there from northern Wisconsin. He went to the southern part of the state for the Wisconsin opener, and I guess by the looks of things, you could say Bob succeeded. You know, I had opportunities to fish with this man on more than one occasion, and he's intense when it comes to chasing fish. So my hat's off to him. That's a really, really nice fish. You guys are going to meet this guy as we move on in the season two, Jim Gracca. He's from Chicago, Illinois. Jim likes to pound the bass. He does largemouth, smallmouth, and yes, every now and then I can talk him into going and doing a muskie. And that's a key thing. If you have multi-species diversity, it brings you to another level in terms of fishing, and Jim's accomplished that in a big way. Well, I got another gentleman that I've known for years and years and years, although we don't hang together anymore. Craig Thaler and I go back, oh, 35, 30 years anyway. Craig was out fishing a tournament. He was fishing a tournament out in uh, the East Coast, and um, he hammered this absolutely gorgeous rockfish. And when you talk about something that pulls, these things do pull. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Um, Bob said he was the largest fish caught in the tournament in recent history. So my hat, I mean, excuse me, Craig did. My hat's off to Craig. It was a 52 inch, 43.6 pound fish, spawned out. So imagine what that thing would have been with some eggs in it. That would have been pretty impressive. Not to say that it isn't. My last but not least on tonight's show I want to show you guys is a young man. The reason I'm showing you this is Todd Cleese sent this in to me. This is Connor, his son. You know, folks, I said it before, we need to get the young people involved in the sport. Uh, we fish pretty intensive when we go out, and there's no question about we spend a good deal of time trying to prepare ourselves to be as good as we can be on the water. But when you're young, young at heart, and your dad gets you out on the water, that's important. My hat's off to Connor. Those trout were pretty impressive. Bring her back. Oh, hold tight, hold tight. Hi everyone, Bob Mason over here. You know, I've got a place, a very, very special place in my heart. It's Osborne Bay. It's been excellent. Uh, Randy did a great job, the guiding service. Uh, Randy started taking us out when I was 10, and we've been catching big muskies ever since. The accommodations here are fantastic. Check out Century Lodge on Osborne Bay. Come on, bring her back. Hi everyone, Bob Nasekomer here for Grant Rods. You know, musky fishing's a tough deal, and the job's not done till she's in the bag. Well, how do you do that? It's pretty simple. You need big dog rods from Grant Rods. For your next rod, call them at 847-577-0848. Building custom rods since 1983. There, on your left, you can almost see it. One of the most magnificent sights on the planet, Lake Athabasca nestled just below the 60th parallel. Lake Athabasca hasn't changed in nearly a thousand years with its pristine shorelines, pure crystal clear water you can actually drink, and countless fish. Boy, has she got fish that is for everyone willing to travel to Other Side River Lodge. From the magnificent world-class northern pike that prowl these waters to the oldest and biggest lakers on the globe, Athabasca has it all. Other Side River Lodge caters to the true sportsman seeking an all-American plan guided package with three incredible meals a day and memories you won't find anywhere else. Records have been broken by guests at Other Side River Lodge in the past. You could be next. Book your dream trip of a lifetime to Other Side River Lodge where fishing dreams do come true. Call Cliff or Stella toll free at 1-877-922-0957.